In the first video we already talked about output of our fixtures and today we will have focus on color of fixtures and especially on white colors. There are many parameters and facts manufacturers offer you with white LEDs and with their color qualities, but not all of them are useful or even helpful. So let's see what white light is. White light is a spectrum of several colors working together to create a white light. So you have many different colors producing our white we recognize as white. It's important which colors are included in this white to know what white color we are using. So there are two different ways to produce white light with LED. The one way, as we see here, is producing white light with adding red, green and blue LEDs and maybe some more. In this case we have seven different colors so they fill the spectrum of the light completely and we have a very big area of colors we can reach with this fixture. The problem is they are not having that many power so the output of this fixture is not as high as fixtures have that are using a different technology. The second way to get white LED light is using a white LED engine. The problem of this one is you have a very clear spectrum you cannot change just using color filters like CMY mixing but the best thing is you get more output than using single LED chips in single colors to add them to get white. Depending on the spectral colors or wavelengths in our spectrum of the fixture, the white is different. And we need to take care about what white is good for us, what do we want, and what can our fixture display when we are illuminating something. We have the color temperature as the first fact, and the color temperature shows us if a fixture is more cold white or warm white. It's given in Kelvin, and it follows the black body curve in a CI norm color chart. The uh, color temperature offers us a position on this black body curve and shows us whether our fixture is cold white or warm white, but it's not displaying if we have a magenta shift or a green shift. So the color temperature as itself is not very helpful. It's just an idea what white our fixture is producing. To show you what this means, that the color temperature is not even a good value to decide which fixture as the real white, we have positioned some fixtures here and we measured them all as a luminance of 3000 lux and a color temperature of 6000 Kelvin. They all have the same and now you can see when we switch them on that they look all different. When measuring them we have the same color temperature and the same luminance as I just said but as you can see in the camera, the whites are totally different. So describing our white light with our color temperature is not the best way. To show you that it's real, I'm just going to measure one of the fixtures here to show you color temperature and illuminance. And with this small measurement, you can see even the spectrum of our fixture. We have 3000 lux and 6000 Kelvin. So as our color temperature is not the best way to describe how good the quality of our fixture is, most manufacturers offer you the CRI value, the color rendering index. This has eight values and you can compare the fixture you are using to these eight values. They are referenced to a tungsten line. As we do this with our small tool, we'll get some measurement and we will reach our eight values to see how the quality is and how good and how near we reach the reference values. The one problem of the CRI is it's not referring to saturated colors, strong colors like a clear red or blue. So our CRI value is just referring to unsaturated values. This is a big problem because the CRI alone is not giving you an idea how good your fixture is. So if you have a fixture with good red or blue values compared to a fixture with bad red or blue values, they may have the same CRI value, but one is even better than the other. So that our CRI value is not referring to any saturated colors, we have the TLCI, the Television Lighting Consistency Index, which is referring to 24 colors, even including the saturated colors like blue, red or green. This TLCI value is the same as the CRI, it's one number, the maximum is 100, and the worst is even zero. 
and in between you have different values to get. As the CRI of 100 is the best and the CRI of 90 is even quite good, the TLCI even a bit less like 70 or 80 is still a good value to compare your fixtures and to have good quality in white light. A lot of manufacturers in our times offer the TM30 value as their reference for good white light. The TM30 reference is 99 different values, so a very wide and big spectrum of colors included in our fixture. We can of course measure this as well. And the TM30 offers us two values, RG and RF. RF is the fidelity index, which means how near we are to our reference colors. And RG is the gamut, which means if our color space is even bigger, then the reference space of fixture could even be better. So these two values are given in the TM30 as shown here. The RG and the RF. And the RF can be up to 100. The RG, if we have an even bigger gamut, can be more than 100. So for comparing the quality of uh, our white LED fixtures, we can use the TM30 with 99 values and the CRI, mostly given by manufacturers today, is not the best value because it's not including the colors that are saturated and mostly important for us at our jobs. To measure the TM30 and all other values, there are several tools you can use to be shown these values on your tool. Thank you for watching this video and we hope you enjoyed it.